two, one. All right. So what's up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, just coming to you live with uh, TJ Laramie. Talk about basically his UFC life and just basically going back last fight to see how it went for him and going from there. So how's it going, man? Uh, it's good, man. Just got back to Canada about a week and a half ago. Uh, more like a week, actually. Uh, I haven't been like to my hometown in almost three months or maybe even a little more than that. Uh, so it's kind of good to be home and relax a little bit, having the back to back fights. Right. So let's, uh, so how did it, how did you feel going into the Derek Minor fight? And then uh, just, I mean, get, just give me honestly, your thoughts on that one. Yeah. So originally, um, uh, when I got the, uh, like the contract for that fight, I was kind of on a vacation. Like I went and seen my girlfriend in Winnipeg. So, um, as soon as I came back to Canada, I had the mandatory 14 day quarantine. So I couldn't really train right away when I got the notice, but I was like, you know what? It's not a big deal. It's not, um, it's not really like, you know, an extra week of relaxation will probably do me more good than harm. Um, but it was, uh, when I got back to Vegas, so I got back to Vegas around three weeks out from the fight. Yeah. I got a real good week of training in, a uh, real good week of training. And then uh, I kind of had a little bit of a knee injury. It was the uh, grade two strain, I believe, or sprain, something like that. Um, what they uh, diagnosed me with at the PI. And then uh, so I was pretty uh, immobile for a few days there. I couldn't really move at all or get any live work in, you know. So, uh but uh, I still, you know, I thought it was a good matchup. I thought it was a matchup. I really didn't want to lose as far as, like, you know what I mean? I pull out of the fight. Right. I don't know if I'll be able to get this fight again because I felt like it was almost so identical to a Daniel Swain fight where I was like, you know, I just trained for this fight. You know, it's not a big deal. But I learned, obviously, at this level, everybody's a problem, you know what I mean, in their own way, and that if you can't prepare properly – it's going to show in the fight regardless, you know? And I felt like that played a big factor in my fight because I couldn't really get any live work in for this fight as far as like sparring, grappling, like, you know, uh, I maybe got like two spar two, I only had two sparring sessions in the five weeks between fights. And then I had um, maybe about three grappling sessions. Now I'm not saying, not taking anything away from Derek Minner. He caught me. I mean, he did what he does best. Um, but I just feel like as soon as that fight started, you know what I mean? It, the pace that you get in a fight versus a, the pace that you you get from just hitting pads, you know what I mean? Because that's basically all I could do uh, for the last couple of weeks. And even the, the only, yeah, only, like I said, I only got really one good live week of training. And then, uh, yeah, so the, the, the live pace you get right off the hop. And Derek Minner, especially being a fast starter, you know, it, it – a hundred percent I wasn't ready for that there was no way I was ready for that fight right because that's especially going with the injury and then not having yeah. enough sessions it, it show it shows like the difference between going into that fight to basically going into a live fight yeah a hundred percent like the the pace is just uh the only way you're gonna match a fight pace is if you uh in training you're doing a lot of the live goes you know what I mean a lot of the intense stuff because right off the bat you know what i mean he came right at me pretty much right like within 10 seconds of the fight so i like, talked to me about how like dana white's contender series is like from a young guy going into the series like how did that feel going into basically being on the contender series overall so that's a huge stepping stone for a lot of young fighters is that series uh yeah i felt like that whole experience was amazing for me, especially uh, like it was on my late mother's birthday, you know what I mean? So um, it was just a special day in general. I, uh, you know, it was a great, it, the whole experience was a, was just amazing. I, like it's super comparable to the actual UFC, you know, like um, there wasn't much difference between my contender series fight and UFC as far as the buildup. And uh, I mean, you do a couple more photo shoots when you're actually in the UFC, stuff like that. I've done that though in prior shows, but I mean, as far as, uh, as far as like fighting in the apex, all of that, the magnitude of it, the buildup, uh, I feel like if anything, maybe contender series 
I had much more pressure on me uh, because you're fighting for more than just a win. You're fighting for a contract. Like I didn't feel as nervous going to my UFC fight as I did my contender series fight that like, that's a hundred percent. When I was going to my contender series fight, uh, I had it in my head that I had to fight in a certain way or else I wasn't going to get the contract. You know what I mean? Win or lose. Right. Cause like I said, you can see a lot, a lot of young fighters, like the pressure is on to get that contract in order to move up to the UFC. Then like the pressure's not all the way there. You know what I mean? So it's just, yeah. it's, it's tough. It's nice to see like the spotlight on the young fighters basically in the contender series. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, like it definitely pushes fighters to, to fight harder and you know what I mean? Maybe even train harder, whatever it is. Um, but it's, uh, it's a, it was a great experience, you know? And it's like, if I feel like I can get through that experience as far mentally, I can get through, uh, anything, but I mean, also along with that too, the UFC, as soon as you win that contender series fight, I got double almost uh, double the attention I was getting before as far as social media, whatever it is, you know what I mean? So there's just, uh, the, it, there's more pressure in different ways, but I, I was uh, way more nervous for my contender series fight. Right. So do you have any fights in general that are coming up that you think you're going to be in coming on or what's your plans now, basically after this fight, last fight? Um, well, coming off a loss, you know, I'm not really in a position to where I could dictate anything. Uh, so I'm, I kind of got my back against the wall a little bit, which I've always felt like I've done pretty well uh, when the odds are a little bit stacked against me. So it's whatever they they plan on giving me. I'll be ready for that. Uh, but for now, you know, uh, I'm enjoying being home a little bit. I'd like some real time off because uh, I feel like I've been in training camp since April, May for that contender series fight. And then I went right back into it for, um, my UFC fight. So, um, it's just, uh, more mental break than anything. I feel like everybody works at their own pace and I got plenty of time on my side. So as far as getting, being in a rush to get back in there, I don't feel like that's uh, what I need to do right now. I feel like that's a mistake I've already made and uh, I don't want to do that again. So what's it like now with with having time off? Like, what's your training like, basically? Like, are you still training every day or just, like you said, mentally just kind of preparing yourself for whatever comes next? Uh, I mean, there's obviously, like, I don't want to break too many rules by not self-isolating, but, you right. know, like, <laughs> just basically trying to make sure I don't blow up as far as my weight and stuff like that. So when I do get back to real training, uh, I'm I'm not, like – way overweight so you know i'm just kind of going for my uh, runs outside stuff like that not really too much else though at the moment uh but as soon as my quarantine's done you know i'll be right back in the gym so yeah that pretty much wraps up everything i wanted to ask you do you have any closing thoughts basically before we head out uh not really man uh it's uh yeah not really uh, i appreciate the interview <laughs> yeah thank you so much man for coming on and it was definitely fun to talk about everything and just basically your UFC career life. Yeah, hundred percent. I appreciate you uh, giving the opportunity to get some of that stuff out there. Thank you so much, man. And hope you have a good one. Thanks, man. You too.